Alright, I'm meeting up with Ethan out here at the, the river. Let's see if we can find some fish. It's been, I haven't fished the river too much lately. I haven't been here since the tournament last month. So, we can go get onto it. Okay, well we have two options then. Because at the bridge, the trail cuts up that way, away from the river. But there's also a creek up there we can fish too. Or we could cut through that, or we could cross over the bridge. At the top up there is a pond. And then I've, I've never actually fished anything on that side of the river downstream. Yeah, I was waiting for the, the winter to come and kill all the algae so we can get some nice clean fishing in. Yeah. And the algae just never went away. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm not seeing any fish today. And like I've I've come out here before and it was like it was like being at the ocean where the where you just see like schools of like thousands of mullet or something. Yeah, I've seen it like where there was like shad and even species I didn't rec recognize just schooled everywhere. Yeah. Already? <laughs> Little quad? I told you we were going to catch something in here. Remember, it's $25 an hour for my guide services. Oh, something hit there. Oh, come on. Missed him. I need to swap these rods out. <laughs> yeah. I should have the swim bait on this the short five foot rod, and then I should have the Sanko on the seven foot rod. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, nice little quad. I think Ethan's only landed one, but he's lost a couple. This one pulled my tail off. Come on, dude. I don't wanna... I don't wanna tear his jaw up hooked in a bad spot. Gonna crimp the barb off so I can get it out with, without ripping his jaw. There we go. The activity I've been seeing has been in the, the, the weed line over here. Yeah. So. Yeah, Normally it's clear and you can see them cruising all over the place. Yeah. Well, I think it's deeper along that edge over there so you can skip it up under the trees, onto that, the bank over there. Oh, something about these hooks, man. I wonder why these hooks had a $15 price tag on them. They don't work for shit. Did you see this bird over here hanging out in the tree? Yeah. Watching us? <laughs> I was a trash bag yeah, he's not even moving. See, we're out in the open, but there's so much vegetation right here. That were covered. The Look, like. there we go. There we go. Oh, oh. oh a good one. Yeah. Pull and drag. Yeah. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Is that a? Oh, uh, thought it was a quad for a second. He's like, man, that's a monster. <laughs> yep, didn't take long to get it. The big fat female. Yeah, about to pop. <laughs> yeah. Better release right there for her. Another one. Oh, that one was even bigger. Today's video is how to catch fish on bad hooks. <laughs> as soon as we figure it out, we'll let everybody know. Oh, no. Came up and I felt the tug, and then he let go, and then just this big swirl, like, like a bathtub drain. <laughs> so they're they're biting now. <laughs> I saw him, he came up to the surface. Maybe they're bedding down and they're just grabbing it by the tails, you know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're starting to bite in the middle too instead of up on the edges. Yeah. I mean, the water's pretty stained, you know, but it's it's so shallow I can still see to the bottom. But I'm not seeing any of these fish. <laughs> okay, here we go. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I think I found a bed. Are you, are you using weights for yours or no? No. Although I've got the swim baits on a jig head, so. That's what I'm feeling a lot too, is like they just pick it up and drop it real quick. That's what's making me think they're bedding. Okay, okay, he's on, but do I set the hook? There we go. I let him run with it for a while. <laughs> That's a nice quad, huh? That's a fat one. And then he slipped off right at the end, wow. I think that's the same one I missed a minute ago. Yeah. Little guad. <laughs> there we go. And he slipped off the hook over here. Yeah. But at least I had him up here first. Hey. <laughs> That was just kind of funny because he was like going back and forth and back and forth. I was like, do I set the hook? Do I set the hook? <laughs> like, I just wasn't sure. I think that might be the key is to just wait on them. Yeah. Yep. That's hard to do though. Like I hate knowing there's a fish on the line and not fighting it. Got him? <laughs> Little guad. <laughs> you didn't even reel him in. You set the hook and he came yeah, to he you. When he let off that shine when he ate, I thought it was a big one. Yeah.
No, I don't think so. Dude, it's a freaking quad. I got a couple more. I just, I got to switch it out. Fat little quad. <laughs> oh. Wow. Man, my battery died right as I was catching. Up. That was a massive quad, really. They don't normally get that big. Too big. Very rare they get any bigger than that. That one was just, I guess it was an average length, but she was fat. See if there's any more over there. Oh, you got yeah. him. You got it. That's a good oh, one, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god. Was that the worm? Woo. Oh. Uh, as soon as you pull it up, he drops like half his size. Oh my god. Look at him. He's still chunky though. He looked like he was gonna be like five or six pounds, and then you pick him up and he's. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it looks when they do that little flash. Yeah. Oh, is he on? Got one. Got him. Dude, yes. <laughs> Just got to get him <laughs> through those rocks. <laughs> He's just going into all the rocks over here. <laughs> He's just like, ah. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I only have two of those left. I got to go climb down there and get that thing now. Oh, damn it. My face. Shook my my bait off the hook. <laughs> hey, luck? Yeah, yeah you're doing, doing pretty good. Yeah. 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 So bass? Yeah, yeah, all bass. So. Cool. Yeah, they should be like pre-spawn or something now. I yeah, 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 they're getting ready. They're, yeah, they're getting fat. Mm -hmm. okay. What was the biggest fish? Uh. I don't know. Maybe that one I got, it was only probably a pound and a half for yeah. a Guadalupe bass. Yeah, I think mine so. have just been hitting about a pound. That's about okay, it. Okay, cool, man. Hey, hey, no, no problem, man. <laughs> That's the work, man. Yeah. Oh, I got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bluegill. It's those trebles, trebles, man. Yeah. It's a lot easier to get out if you got a rope. Oh, there you go again, little bass. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Got him. Right looking around here, there's like all these bags and bags and stuff like that. Yeah. This area here, you see all these flat rocks and there's like cups and bottles and stuff over there. We used to get a lot of furniture right there too. Dang. Maybe I should throw one of those. Yeah, throw on a spinner, bro. Yeah. I got one tied on right now. I got my other rod instead of the Oh yeah. And they're not guads either, these are largemouth. Yeah, they're all little baby largemouth. But there's some giants over there. Yeah. Underneath that tree that's in the water, that one too. My phone is just not unlocking. Oh, that was a big smack. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's a quad too, right? I knew he, is it? No, no, no. That's a nice little large mouth. He hit it hard, dude. Yeah. And I was just like, what was that? This hole, for Ooh. some reason, they have different patterns than anywhere else in the yeah, city. Yeah, dude. And just this little hole. They, fish. Oh, man. <laughs> this little chunk. Here, hold that up to the camera. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Let's see over man. here. There he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 